hello you guys and god bless you so i'm this video is about something that you guys already know and uh just for notes i didn't wake up this morning looking like the hamburglar on purpose i am a security guard of some pretty serious stuff good for me so anyways this channel is called Mo Reese Delk and the caption on this thing I don't know if you can see it it's got some dude that's all like tacticaled out with camouflage and some kind it looks like a AR-15 and the caption reads if you want to if you want to take my freedom make damn sure that you're as passionate about taking it as I am keeping about keeping it if you want to take my freedom, make damn sure that you're as passionate about taking it as I am about keeping it. So let me share this comment that I commented on this with you guys, please. Let's check this out. So one, this other guy, he comments, he's like, I'll stand for my constitution. I'm willing to lay down my life to protect it and everything it stands for. And so some dude replies like, right, sure you would. You're just a hero, spells you are wrong. And uh, this dude replies to him, he's like, you're just a pink unicorn. Guess who wins not the war? The pink hair, clouds, and skirts, something like that. So these guys, oh, you're still living in your mom's basement. Don't miss your N.A. meeting or something, or whatever. So, um, yeah, these guys are fighting about who's really down for the cause. And then other people are like, oh yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm finna get, you know, uh, mad, uh, whatever, you know, Ted Nugent on this bitch, right? So I wrote, I typed, you guys, we do have to consider this is all LARPing, a virtue signaling, wishful thinking for two reasons. One, I just deviated from the screen. One, we already allowed so much freedom and freedom fighters to be taken away or canceled. Two, the government will curve ball and will, will curve ball and slowly coerce their agenda. As in, it won't be the heroic Mad Max dystopian military militia fighting apocalypse scenario we're anticipating. I hope that made sense. Let me explain what I mean. So, number one, I gotta look at these cameras. Uh, we're all we're all alla already allowed so much freedom. Okay, so we have already allowed. So all the all us people who are like Second Amendment, First Amendment believing, uh, God, guns, and country, uh, patriotic kind of people, right? You guys, okay, so we let COVID happen, right? We let, we almost let Kyle Rittenhouse be thrown in the slammer forever. We let Trump get robbed of his rightful voting. Um, and we let gas prices go sky high. We let wars happen that we all don't really agree with. We let the government lie about January 6th. Remember how Tucker Carlson debunked that? We're letting all this happen anyway, guys. And all we do is whenever something happens, we get mad and shoot some beer cans like Kid Rock. Or we go uh, sit, go sit down with Jason Aldean in our small town, the country song. We're already showing the government that we're just going to prep to stay indoors, try to avoid the jab as long as possible and bunker down and hope that it, and hope and have faith and wishful positive thinking that everything's just going to blow over and go back to normal and uh you have all these like protestant pastors saying i'll tell you what the lord gave me a vision that president trump's gonna be the president again and the rapture is gonna happen tomorrow and none of that shit is fucking happening guys so Again, we've already let so much shit happen that we're not doing anything about. Second, I wrote, the, gover the government will curveball that shit and slowly coerce their agenda, as in it won't be the heroic Mad Max dystopian militia-fighting apocalyptic scenario we're anticipating. 
you know, like a lot of us are preppers, doomsday preppers, bug in, bug out, got our tactical gear, got our bug out bags, all that kind of stuff. Well, let me tell you, man, the government already knows that, and they have a lot of think tanks that are anticipating all this stuff. And you guys, they, they have a plan for that, man. All this stuff is going to slowly wear us down, and little by little by little, uh, it's going to... It's going to basically coerce... Okay, it's going to basically coerce us to surrender our rights, slowly and surely. How, how that can happen? You guys, like, check this out. If something happens that overwhelms America, like a terrorist attack plus a, a new war, and uh, we're so divulged and distracted that there's, you know, imagine there's, like, riots and looting and the dollar value goes down, the economy goes to shit... There's martial law, there's curfew, um, there's like World War Three happening, now there's terrorist attacks, and uh, emergency service personnel can't be everywhere at once, and you're pretty much on your own, right? Who's to say that the government isn't going to institute, again, I said curfew, a martial law, and they're going to have like food cards, like where you go, because you know... The grocery store is going to be gone. There's going to be no toilet paper or food left. And everybody is stuck with whatever they have. And uh, God forbid the grid is down and, like, you know, water is bad or something. We can't get water. We can't get food. All that stuff that that preppers and Teal Twaki, you know, the end of the world, we, we know it. Raw, without rule of law, uh, shit hits the fan scenario. If all that stuff really pops off, who's to say that the government doesn't say something like, hey, you guys can come get this food card stuff, but, like, you have to come unarmed. You have to present every member of your family so that we believe how many is in your household to get more stuff. And it's just, it's just as bad as electric cars, meaning, like, if everybody was stuck with an electric car, the government knows where you are. If, if it's not a self-automated electric car, then, like, if you don't stop at a stop sign all the way or you're going 90 miles an hour in the middle of the night where there's no traffic, it sends a signal to the DMV to raise your insurance or gives you a ticket or shuts your car off or whatever. And all these people, imagine how bad it could get. We get a government system that if you don't agree with the powers that be, they just shut off your car, shut off your things. All this stuff sounds like crazy conspiracy theorists, but you guys, like, how how close, how, how much do we have to, like, let go by before we get serious about this? I mean, you know, Elon Musk had to buy Twitter so there could be free speech left at all on the Internet. All these people who tout, uh, you know, uh, red pill, you have, like, Red pill philosophy versus woke, right? All these people like Andrew Tate, Alex Jones, and stuff like that, they get canceled. They get kicked off of Google. Uh, Tucker Carlson got kicked off of Fox. Um, jo you know, they want to cancel like Jordan Peterson. I don't know if you guys know these names or not, but look that up. And uh, how much do we have to let go by while we're just like, oh, you're tripping. The Lord told me in a vision that Trump's going to be president and the rapture's happening tomorrow and everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Like, we're, let, or we're already letting a lot go by, you guys. And uh, we, we, we didn't answer it. And there's a saying about people, uh, there's a famous quote that when the Jews got thrown in the ghettos and Auschwitz and all that in the Holocaust, they said how we burned in the camps that, I'm paraphrasing, how we burned in the camps that we didn't meet the the the, the Waffen-SS or the stormtroopers, how we didn't meet them uh, head on with clubs and, and, and torches and stuff like that, that we just let it happen because everybody assumes the best. And it's just like, it's kind of like, if you're if you're a modest citizen and someone some like low life person says something passively aggressive at you to basically emasculate you or something, most good people that goes by their head. It goes over their head for a second, 
And by the time they're thinking about a reply, the the effect has the the, the effect has already permeated its course. That's kind of what the government does. They 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 use crisis or inst or instigate it or condone it or engineer it or fake it so that people are caught off guard and they, they think the best of the situation at first and they comply. It's just like all those people who they become vic victims of like, let's say a terrorist attack, you know, a mass shooting, same difference, a natural disaster. Whenever they hear that first boom noise, the first thing that people always think is, oh, it's it's a balloon that got popped or it was a backfire from a car. Everybody who's ever survived some major thing, they all they always say first, like, oh, we thought it was nothing at first. It was something else before we realized it was something dire. We're all kind of doing that. And um, uh, look at man, I'm taking a big risk by having my identity splattered all over social media and stuff like that, basically slinging guns and talking about my very subversive point of views and that, you know, the government f tried to lie about Jan 6. They're really scared of that shit happening, guys. And honestly, it, it, most of you conservatives are Christians, right? Uh, I could go into my beliefs about how I think that God is withdrawing his help to conservative America because we're not adamant enough about his kingdom. We kind of just like indulge in secular entertainment and materialism, like your, you know, average capitalistic Westerner. And, but we need to get our shit together. And the Bible says that God will heal our land if we turn from our wicked ways and pray. We should all be fasting. We should all be praying for God's, for wisdom from God that he either solves this problem for us or gives us the green light to go and solve it ourselves before it becomes too late. You know, we're, uh, all you guys who are watching this channel, I assume that you, you're, that you understand what's going on with all this woke shit, all this fucking, uh, far leftist shit and averse and all their ass backwards ass fucking ideas and antics versus our, conservative, orthodox, um, traditional way of preserving the American way of life. So if you guys are with me, like, you know, bust out a comment or something like this, I don't try to monetize this channel. I couldn't give a shit fucking less. I'm just a, a, I'm just a middle-aged dude with an opinion that I think matters. And like I said, I'm just saying, guys, that we're not doing shit. You know, we're just shooting beer cans and choosing to sit down with Jason Aldean in our small town. So we need to get on this shit before it gets worse. So, I mean, I could talk a lot of shit, you guys. Just because you have Trump bumper stickers on your Ford F950 and you go and tell chicks at the, the, the sports bar with your Harley Davidson and your the, the American Eagle on the back of your denim vest about how you serve this country or how you're a patriotic badass. It's 